Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of Talk That Talk. I am the host, man. Big Faz over here. Damn, he took over. I'm going to be honest right now, Faz is pissing me off. My boy, my name is Jay Cook. How y'all doing? (laughs) Hey, and I'm your host, Reese. Yeah, we in Miami right now. Yeah, go ahead. We got a very special guest, man. We got Montana and Ryan. We're just going to take over Jordan's talking for the day. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> no, you got it, bro. You got it. Go nah, ahead. We won't do, do you like that, bro. We got our very lovely guest, Montana and Ryan, in the building today. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so they were actually, like, really, really, you guys were probably our top suggested. Super highly requested. Influencers. Yeah, really, yeah. literally. Aww. The number the one, podcast. Actually. And so we already know a lot of people tuned into this, so... This is gonna be a very. I literally interesting... moved into this apartment complex just so we could get them on the podcast. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you follow me in here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but thank you guys for coming on. We appreciate you. I actually uh, am good friends with them. I've been kicking it with them for freaking every fucking day. Yeah, for real. We're over here doing like I don't even think people understand how close we've got so quick. Mm-hmm. But we well, definitely the first day was my the night before my birthday. Literally. Yeah. And so what happened? We went, wait, what happened yeah. though? How did did he did you know that he like was coming here? So, no, what's crazy is he hit me up like two months before us even moving back to Miami. Uh-huh. Before we even announced us moving back to Miami. And then he hit me up. We were just like over DM. And then when we got here, what happened? It was something with you had said something the, about a moving company. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something like that. With, with the moving company we were doing. And then I just like I don't know. I told I like had like a I have like a sixth sense almost. Yeah. Like I have like, like a discernment sense. type of feeling. Yeah, like where yeah. I can like tell what's gonna happen. Yeah. And I was like, yo, what if this man moving in? <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Was. Yeah. So then I hit him up, and I was like, bro, where you moving? Literally same apartment, everything. It was crazy. I was like, "What the fuck?" Nah, I felt you knew weird. That. You knew that, huh? I felt weird because nah. when he asked me, he's like, "Yeah, we stay at the apartments where are you moving to in Miami." And I was like, "Ah, oh, shit, damn!" I felt like weird telling him, but yeah. So ever since then, we've been close, kicking it, cool people. So That's but, a bromance moment right there. You yeah, guys let's get yeah. applause for it, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're gonna do. A, we're gonna do. A, we start. We start our guest episodes kind of like this. This is what we kind of been doing. But we've been doing it. It's a, yeah. It's like a, either either you answer the question or you drink, right? True the drink. Both what if you don't drink? If you don't, yeah, you gotta take drink for you. Like, no, no. He take, he take the shot for He's you. You gotta take the shot okay, for you. Shot. Okay. Do you not drink at all? <laughs> Hold on. Do you not drink at all? Like I don't drink at all. That's crazy. I haven't in like two years. Damn, that's yeah, the, we're not going to be the first same. ones to get you on that. So, <laughs> he's going to take over there for you. We'll get into why you don't drink in a little bit, okay. but... Yeah, I'll do a double. Yeah, you're going to okay. do a double? Wait, wait, we have to see the Jeez. question first. No, 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 no. Go ahead, buddy. You guys ask the question. All right, so... <laughs> damn, y'all going to put me on this side? <laughs> oh. So, these are always oh, the spiciest no. questions. Uh, the question is, everybody wants to know, you know, um, have you guys ever... Has one of you guys ever cheated on the other person? Since you guys started dating, absolutely not. No. no, no, no. No, that's like that's actually one of like, like I feel like all relationships have something that they like really prioritize, and I feel like loyalty, especially for me, like from yeah. the beginning, was like a deal breaker. Like that's like a no question for me. Facts. So, and, and you, we've never even like taken a break. You yeah, know? yeah. Some mm-hmm. relationships, you know, take breaks, come back, whatever. We don't do that. Like, so that's good. That was like something we just never. Yeah, hey, I don't believe yeah. in that break. I'll yeah, be honest. Hell no. Nah. Break is yeah. done. You broke like, the string. It's I feel like you, you, you okay, you want to go get some dick and come back. Like, that's, that's what a break is. <laughs> that's like, that ass. Like, why is that? Or like, you know, yeah. okay, so I'm big on that loyalty thing too. So let me ask y'all this. Like, with, like, it's crazy because with the, in the, within the influencer phase, I guess you could say, in the world, influencer world, there's a lot of people who will, like if their significant other cheats, they'll stay with them because of the image. Mm. So now, if it's now if something does happen, God forbid it does, you know I'm gonna knock on some wood, you know. Yeah. But if something does happen, are you guys willing not to ruin your whole image that you guys have together, but to like apart from each other, like? It would be a deal just, breaker for me. Deal breaker. Yeah, like because yeah, I don't, media, don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah. No, you're yeah, exactly right. You on. 
Yes. You want. Just like <laughs> that at the end of the day, it's like the aside from social media, like this is like our real life, our real mm-hmm. relationship, everything is like even like how we go about social media, everything is real. So like I definitely that that would be like a definite no. I respect that. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah, social media don't matter. <laughs> so how did you guys how did you guys meet like i know you guys i know a little bit about ryan what's actually crazy is he told me it's kind of like the same thing with my brother is you've never you never had a girlfriend before montana right fuck him nah i never had a girlfriend. even if you did <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so he never had a girlfriend same thing with jordan or reese he never had a girlfriend either wait was that like a specific reason why you didn't have a girlfriend or was it just that wasn't what you were looking for, or were you just waiting for the I right mean, one? I'm not, uh, I mean, I was just like doing me. Yeah, <laughs> just on some high school shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah there no, I mean, we met in high school, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was like I had my freshman year to junior year, and then I met her senior year. So it was like. And you were a football player. And how did it yeah. come about? Yeah, we know about the football so, players. Let's <laughs> get <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so we met I actually knew of her. Mm-hmm. Like I knew of she went we went to different high schools. I went to my high school because I was trying to like play football for them, move on, go D one type shit. Yeah. And then I knew of her though because she was like known as like the model of the county. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like the high school model, nothing yeah, crazy. Yeah. But like you get oh, that's what she's gonna do after high school. So I was like, damn. Damn, like yeah, that'd be five. But like, so you kind of I didn't know if she knew me, you know. Yeah, but we went to the same gym, and I mm-hmm. was like slow key eyeing, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> 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 so when we met, we, I was in the gym, she was in the gym. It's actually crazy because what ended me playing football, I snapped my elbow mm-hmm. working out at the gym, and she was and there I was when there. I was when I. And she like helped me. Oh, yeah. that's a love story. Oh, that's a love story right you there. You think he snapped it on purpose? So you <laughs> He's like, today's the day. <laughs> He's I like, I don't like, want anybody else to help me, but Montana. <laughs> you might right hand. You might go to. <laughs> okay. So you didn't slide yeah. in the no DMs, and it was in person. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's how it was back then, though. No, you know? back in the day, yeah, yeah for sure. That's how it was back then. And I feel like it was like the most like perfect i even follow you on instagram that's on some movie shit like did you get in the back of the ambulance with him too like, oh, no, no. i'll follow you to the hospital close the double doors no what's, <laughs> what's crazy though with that she ended up missing like two weeks of school so we had just met right with that and then about what was it like maybe three weeks in then we yeah. started you know going about our dates and mm-hmm. when i asked you on the first date all that stuff yeah. she ended up missing school for like two weeks two and a half weeks so she could be at the hospital and like at the house with me. Yeah, because oh. he was having like surgery and like stuff yeah, like I had that. Yeah, surgery. I was out for like four so. days. Straight up, like first Wait, two weeks. Wait, hold on. So you missed two weeks. So like you guys have? Did you guys talk before like before the gym incident? No. No. Like so the gym incident it happened. You yeah. snap your elbow, then you get out of surgery and stuff, and then you're just like. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help well, take care of Well, his surgery was, like, planned. So, like, his elbow snapped, and then we kind of, like, saw each other, like, sp- like, just was, like, eyeing each other. And then eventually we ended up getting each other's snaps and, like, Snapchat. And so we were messaging a little bit. That's but what it was after, back like, in the day. Hanging out, yeah. Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> Snapchat was a phone number back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for real. <laughs> and, screenshot. And, and at the know. time, yeah, we were all on Snap because he – I actually am the reason why he got an iPhone because yeah. I couldn't stand texting him Hold on like on, an bro. Android. Whoa! <laughs> what year was this? Like you was going green on this? <laughs> yes. Nah, yes. hey, hey, you make a group chat. Go. I wouldn't put you in a group chat. Oh make the whole God. fucking group chat green. Oh God. Just because of you. Put in that <laughs> well, that's a fucking alien. So I was like, I'm just using Snapchat. But um, after we were just like talking for a while, then. Start His out snaps more. was blurry. And I'm he sorry. had to like plan. <laughs> he had a different font and everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you had the fucking, you had the Shrek emoji and shit. He's like sending me snaps like at school or something. Yeah. And, the, and the like wording is like squiggly. Like, like. Android like, has emoji. Fuck no. His shit was like. 
<laughs> you, didn't, his, you didn't even use emojis, I bet. You were like LOL, CX, XD, <laughs> all that shit. When we met, I had to ask you about emojis. How the yeah. fuck does work? Yeah. You were spelling your emojis that out with parentheses and shit. Crazy. That's funny. That's crazy. No, that's crazy though. Like, yeah. So two weeks and got and then you guys, yeah. it was a love story from then. It yeah. was just In like. In between that two weeks though, I asked her on our first date. Mm-hmm. And then on our first date, which uh, I took her out to like this lake. It was nice, and we actually seen like a shooting star come over. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't like no shoot regular, sh- like just quick. Oh, it was he like was a high. Last, like it was like it was massive. Yeah, like, yeah. This meter. Thing was massive. Yeah, yeah, it looked like a meter. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was like all across the sky. Yeah, it was and it's funny because you could look it up, and it's on the news. Like, bro, this is some damn, notebook right? shit, bro. This is yeah. some. This, this is, is some that that shit. It felt like fate, you know? Yeah. And, yeah, now we're here. So it's just oh. like all the signs were there. Yeah. yeah. That's dope. That's hella wow. dope. Yeah. And then when when did y'all create the social media together? Yeah. So I've been watching YouTube like like since as long as I can remember, honestly. And it was kind of like when I was younger, it like helped me a lot with the things that like I grew up dealing with and all of that. So it's funny because I feel like social media was kind of something that like I manifested. I always wanted to do it. Like Jersey. Mm-hmm. And um, so when I met him, I noticed that he liked taking pictures like of himself. Like, oh but, yeah, like, we I'm know. Saying, like, we know. Have, like, but, <laughs> We're gonna get into that right now in a little bit. Yeah, he said, "I'm gonna take a shot for that." Yeah. Uh, no, but I'll he like he liked photography and like have yeah. like. So that wasn't normal, especially for where we're from and like where we oh, um where we lived so kind of i think it was like a year and a half or something i kind of brought it up to him and i was like i would love to do this and i feel like you're kind of into it or would be into it and good at mm-hmm. it or whatever and that's kind of how we started we made like one video and everybody in our town like roasted us and like, we were the talk <laughs> and it was like do you know you know it's crazy what I learned is I feel like if you get roasted, that's it's when you start, hour. that's how you know your shit's gonna blow up. Cause that means that people even care to comment on your stuff. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of people they'll post and they'll get like no comments, no interaction, no good, no bad. Except for maybe like their mom and their grandpa or something. But if you're getting negative comments to start, just know people are interested in your thing. You guys watching this? You get negative comments, mm-hmm. keep going. Cause it means people are paying attention. Yeah, it's exactly. So nice. I want to get into, um, basically, as we were talking about, you know what I'm saying, you like taking pictures and, you know, everything on social media is, is really real, like it's, it's you guys. So let's talk about how, what like you went viral for as a, as a person, and then you got the couple of stuff and how that <laughs> transition, how did that help you out? Because basically, if you guys don't know, he went you tell it. Yeah. I Why did you go this, viral? I don't, I don't know. Because that he was a, he's a walking meme. But <laughs> he's a walking meme. <laughs> he's a walking meme. Oh shit. Let's hear so, this. Shit. Um. So pretty much, it was crazy because one of my boys came to me. He was like, "Bro, let's do this TikTok." So I did this TikTok with him, <laughs> and it was like some dance, and then you had to like flinch, right? And I was wearing. A wife beater at the time when yeah. I filmed it, so it like kind of went with the stigma of yeah. like the shirt, right? So when I did the TikTok and I flinched at her, she actually flinched, and then when I when we posted, it just kind of blew up, and everybody was kind of like mad about that. Yeah, that she flinched. Um, but I mean, on top of that, they came from my hair and my legs, <laughs> <laughs> the way I stood. Yeah, like, I mean that's pretty much how it blew up, you know? Um, did you change the way you stood? After? Wait, how nah. did you? Stand? Do you wear yeah, insoles? How did you stand? <laughs> Do you wear insoles? Y'all don't know. Do you wear I insoles? I, no- I normally stuff my shoes <laughs> with like nice napkins ones. and shit. So basically, everybody socks, socks. like wait, like clowns. Wait, 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 wait you gotta give them some I'm context. Playing. I'm, gotta, playing, bro. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm <laughs> playing. <laughs> nah, so I'm playing. Everybody so pe- was clowning. Yeah, so people think I'm shorter than her, right? <laughs> So everybody was like, he's wearing, he's wearing like shoe fillers almost. Like I'm like <laughs> stuffing my shoes with shit to make myself look. Were like, you? No. <laughs> Keep it a buck. Hey, it's okay. It's like, all right, I was man. a short kid too. <laughs> <laughs> I be pointing up to the fucking, the roller coaster places. I be wearing them shape ups. 
<laughs> I swear, bro. I would wear like the thick soles Abby, just so I can get on the go. Don't get me wrong. When she wearing heels, hell yeah. Like, yeah. I'm mm. trying to find the shoes that got like the clogs, you know? He got the Gucci's on. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the thick bottoms yeah. to make myself a little taller. And right. it's funny too, though, because on like for TikTok example, when we do TikToks, there's certain angles that make me look taller, even though we know that I'm not taller. But when people meet us in person, they're like, wow, like, even like, like talking to him, like, you're a lot taller in person than like the camera well, makes like, you. I get so. the opposite. Yeah. People come up to me and they're like, I Damn. thought you were so <laughs> tall. <laughs> you are actually really short. I'm like, hmm. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. I had a girl come up to us at spring break when we were all in spring break. Yeah. This Puerto Rican girl comes up to me and says, and she's like, talking to says, and, and she's like, oh, girl. She's like, by the way, I was. I'm a subscriber of your boyfriend, but I really don't give a fuck about him. I just watch you. Like, I only care to watch you. And I'm like, what? So, yeah, Damn. people, yeah, yeah. Damn. Random, but. You think she people. just said that to say that, or she really mean that? But, like, she was trying to dog me. I don't know. Like, I feel like, I feel like they be like. The girls are, the, are the stars of the show, regardless. When it comes down to the couple shit, it's the girls. Oh, for sure. Raylene's about to pass me. I swear. On Instagram, I mean, she already passed me on engagement and shit, but, like, followers wise, she about to surpass me, but I'm happy about that. Like, I'm hella excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about girls being, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the stars of the show. When it comes down to, we know you guys do uh, OnlyFans, you know what I'm saying? I know this is like a topic that they don't really discuss, I feel like. Even when I met you guys, we were talking about OnlyFans, and yeah. you guys were kind of like, not even like commenting on it. Both yeah. of y'all do OnlyFans. I'm on her shit. Yeah. You know? So like you don't have your own thing. shit. It's a couple's thing, nah. It's right. a couple's thing. Mm -hmm. Couple's yeah. thing as in what? Is it? Yeah. It, it, it is it is now. Yeah. Oh, you guys switched just recently? Yeah. yeah just recently. recently. Okay, okay. Uh, what what let me add hold on. When you say it's a couple's thing, what do you mean by that? <laughs> like, like what are y'all doing like, on there? <laughs> It's well, like, it's like, fucking. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, okay. Yo, no. no, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> nah, because that's the stigma, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. that's it. That's, that's the that's, thing. That's the stigma. Yeah, that's right? what sells. That's what people. Yeah, of course, that's going to sell, yeah. but like, that's not what we do, you know? Yeah. Like, that's the stigma, what people think it is, but like, what we put out there is like, I mean, I'm being honest, I think it's funny as fuck. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I yeah. think what we put out there is. is is us. I like, think I think it's very tasteful. Yeah. That's like what I I think that <laughs> tasteful. there's I if 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 you Is there ever if, good. If a family member bought your OnlyFans, would it they was, I'm bagging their shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the would they be would they look at you the same? I don't care if they look yeah. at you the same. I mean, I okay. I feel I So it's feel not like, it's yeah. not that type of content that I'm thinking about. No, no, it's not no. the OnlyFans okay, okay. stigma. That's no. what they were yeah. saying. So, okay, is there ever some shit like? Do you guys ever post like solo? Yeah, it will. So it's like mine, but I include him. So yeah, so like me, mainly me solo, and maybe like because the dudes want to see Ryan where, too. Yeah, every yeah. now and then. <laughs> is there ever it's some like stuff that. like where you look at her and you're like? Nah, you're not posting that. Or is it you guys nah, have that? That's complete we opposite. Have yeah, we have respect like, like and boundaries there, but mm -hmm. it's like it's He's more out there than I am, I feel like. What's the one thing that you won't allow her like you wouldn't be cool with not allow, but you wouldn't be cool with her posting on OnlyFans? I mean <laughs> like, <laughs> nothing. There's, there's really nothing. I mean, you know, like So she wanted to take it there, you would take it there? As long as I'm in it. What I know, I know there's a bag to be made on that shit. But like, so, I'm not, I, I wouldn't be willing to do that. Like, okay. just like if for this me. Is a, if this is a personal question, I'm just asking it. Um, it is what it is. But what's the most you've made in a month off of OnlyFans? Um, and remember, they're not posting the crazy stuff. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is so just even like, to make whatever she's going to say, that's like I would say my biggest month was probably like What the fuck? <laughs> God What? Bro And that woman I'm slaving? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> God. 
that's no, crazy. That's no that. way. Y'all gonna see me walking. <laughs> like, yo, Bailey, we gotta start this we shit gotta, right now. Bro, I know there's a bag to be made, bro. Like, <laughs> you gotta wait it, like seven months. The thing months, is, bro. like, we don't put it, it out there. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's no. right. I don't promo, like, at all. We I don't probably... want to put it out there because there's such a stigma on it. Yeah, it's like, and so I don't want really, like, People will take it. Is it, it in your way. bio? Do you have, like, a link Yeah, it's in my bio. Yeah, like, in my bio. I'm asking a little too much questions. Bio link tree? What you got? No, I'm just like, because. I'm saying because she says you don't promo it, so I'm like, okay, like, is it. I'm asking for you. I'm not asking for them i'm asking for me because i'm trying to see for, for, hey, yo, for me and raylene like <laughs> we'll talk, that's what we'll talk at dinner tonight all right yeah let me get a little mentorship oh, a little only fans that's, that's lit though well Man, i mean link in bio i guess i was taking i was taking <laughs> Sully's uh last night <laughs> can't peep it <laughs> gotta go back and watch I'm dead. that's that's i ain't gonna lie that's really lit though so question now that we're on this like money wave no, nah, not only fans wave. wave. Like kind of only fans wave. How do y'all feel about like open relationships? Have you guys ever had an open relationship or? No. Nah. That nah, goes nah. back to like the loyalty. <laughs> the loyalty. Yeah, 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 that's like, like I you, would never like if yeah, I get that you, vibe. You posted some shit too. Talking about, oh, we met some swingers. Yeah. Bro, people no. were tagging us, bro. No, no. Oh, yeah. Yes. You know who I'm talking about. I don't know about, who you're though. talking about. It's not y'all. I but know. yo, no, I, know. Yeah, I had to comment. <laughs> I had to comment to make sure. Like, yeah. bro, I, I heard some more shit about them folks too. That's crazy. They really be swinging, swinging. Oh hell no! Like, yeah, we'll see, I consider that shit like cheating. Like, yeah, I don't know yeah. though. For sure. When I'm, even if I'm in the room, nah. like, bro, nah. <laughs> nah. What? What you nah, gonna be I'm watching? I, I mean, these pe- these people are <laughs> nah, older, bro, so it's like, weird. you know, yeah. 10, 20 years being together. They, 30 years I think they were t- they've been together yeah that they, might it might it, you might have to do some stuff that you never even thought you would I'm gonna be honest bro I just, but you think you think <laughs> 10 20 30 years like I guarantee you they were doing that shit when they were your age right well now. they have a they have a whole ass business together and shit like that and they, I know exactly what y'all talking about yeah. and they had you know it just I feel like with their situation they have you know kids it's different bro it's like you know, and nah, I would never do please, it. Please, please, <laughs> please justify why you should swing. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, not just, 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 I'm I'm not like just, y'all know, y'all know how to find a, how to find a swinger without even like knowing. I think a different swinger. states. Nah, is, why do you know different. this? You never noticed. No. Wait, how do you? Know? Why do you know? All right, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Because <laughs> he lived in the neighborhood. Because I lived where they in that neighborhood. <laughs> Wait, if what neighbor? When? Where? If Listen, any neighborhood. Last if neighborhood. you're in any state. I don't yes. know about the other countries and shit, so I don't know what y'all got going on over there. But in the United States of America, if you go to somebody's doorstep and they got colored rocks no. sitting by the door, that means they're down to swing. To swing. <laughs> no, Wait, how do you know right? this? No, sorry, that's a, it's a fact. You was going door to door. Also, <laughs> no. Also, if you go, I don't know if y'all have ever been in neighborhoods and you see like a blue light in somebody's window. You ever seen like a blue light in the window? Or like in the top bedroom or something, it's and it's shot and you can see it through the outside of the house. It's a parlor. That means that they're a sex offender. Why would they say that they're a sex offender? They have to. They have to yeah, probably. Yeah, that's to. crazy. So there's there's two tips for you guys. You want swingers or you want You know you can It sounds like we're getting into some 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 sexual talk. So we're just gonna go ahead and get straight into it. Damn. We're gonna go ahead and get straight into it. How important is sex in a relationship, do you guys feel like? very for a healthy rela- uh, yeah I guess one so. week what do you say is Hold on, let me answer this question okay how important is sex in a relationship see for us i feel like it's very important because mm-hmm. it's more than just what your body look like or anything like that it's like a feeling mm-hmm. you know I it's what like, it's like <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's like the intimate feeling. It's like yeah, more he's than just. Yeah, he's hot Bro, you about to pull a me oh, for these dude. fools, my guess. Wait, are you, are you for real? No, I'll show you. I'll show you. <laughs> no, I'm trying to say like it's like a like that intimacy between yeah. your partner. Like that's a must. I don't know. Like yeah. weekly, you need that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's, it's a sign of like some sort of like reassurance as well. Yeah. You know yeah. What I'm yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah when the girl, when the girl is with like my girl, if she's not down, like you know, what I'm saying for a long period of time. I'm like, okay, what's up? Like, what's going on? Cause I know I look good, and I know this motherfucker work. So <laughs> if you don't want to do something, I'm doing something wrong, or you are going through something. And I also learned that girls, 
or women, their testosterone levels, I believe it's testosterone levels, like only hit on certain days of the month. For oh dudes, God. it's every day mm-hmm. of the month. Uh, I, I don't know. I, Maybe I fact know, check on that one? Because uh, yeah, that, that, it was saying something like, you know, I was looking I it up. It. Chat GPT, Chat GPT, and it was saying, you know, that that's why dudes Pretty tend soft. to be a lot more horny than girls, like on a consistent basis. I definitely do want it more. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. But like, are you guys the type to like, like, uh, what is it called, cos cosplay or uh, role play? Role play. Do you guys role play in the bedroom? Nah, no. nah, we never. No, I can't. Do never that have. Shit. Yeah. Bad pirate. In your <laughs> <life>. <laughs> Yo, yo! <laughs> I know this nigga does, bro. He's a, she's like, get on all fours. Put your hands dog. behind your back. You're the bad dog, you spank. Oh, you wanna walk me? Oh, no, bro. You want me to be a Pomeranian or Jimmy Shepherd? You need to go. <laughs> Gone. Bye. Yo, she be putting the dog leash on you? No. Nah. <laughs> Now, I'm not even going to lie. We walked into this store. Now, oh, we I want to know. I really want to know, like, bro, as your brother, what fucking... I need to... Hey, I need you to tell me a role play scene that you guys <laughs> reenacted, my nigga. All four, hey, bro, with the on what is the craziest shit? Because if you do role play, bro, you got to tell them a scene. All right, oh, I'm going to tell you guys. I don't do... We don't do role play. I'm just a dog <laughs> off the leash regardless. But... What happens is, like, for example, last week, we'll go on, we'll get in these, like, random moods where we'll be like, okay, let's try something new. Let's be funny. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just, like, we're strolling <laughs> around and we're like, okay, we'll stop at this store. Let's look at some shit. And then we'll try it out. Mm-hmm. We just, uh, a week ago, we went to this, there's this, this uh, like, what is it, like, Temptations? Or what's it's those? Like fascinations. Fascinations. Like, sex store or whatever. So we go in there. What you got? And I'm uncomfortable, even though, like, I'm the one that's, like, very open about, like, talking about this type of stuff. Because it's, I feel like it's natural, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Her, she's very, like, shy, like, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't talk about it until it's, like, me and her. But when we went in this store, oh, no, she took over. She was the one that was running the show. She got you a butt plug, all that. <laughs> nah. Nah. She's over here touching little, uh, them little standing dildos and shit. She's like, touch it. Look at how crazy it feels. <laughs> <laughs> I did. So I hit a little. <laughs> so y'all didn't say, y'all didn't say, what did y'all get? Nah, so we go in there. I grab, I got the honey. The honey's in the fridge if honey anybody pack. wants to use it. I honey only packs. used a little bit. I saw you guys made a video about that. So yeah, so we used the honey. This is all in one day. I used, I took a little bit of the honey. I'm going to tell you something. I took a, a, a. What's that shit called? It's a, a rhino, <laughs> rhino pill. You okay. took a rhino pill? I took a rhino pill. She yeah. took a rhino pill. Bro, a you woman, don't get bro. A pussy cat? A woman's, the, the pink pussy cat. Yep. And then I also, she got this blowjob candy. I haven't tried that one out Whoa, yet. So okay. don't take that. If Raymond you go in the bathroom. That. It's like the, it's that like the rainbow thing. You see how Wait, far you go. T- you <laughs> bought it or you took it already? So I took it. Oh, you already okay. took it. Right? You took the rhino. I took the rhino and the honey at the same time. Okay. One out of 10. How was it? <laughs> So I'm gonna tell you straight up. I think the thing that sucks about those type of uh, little situations is that you're you're getting yourself so hyped up, and that like you expect it to be like something od crazy. <clears throat> that when I got into the bedroom, I was just like, "Fuck!" Like I'm expecting it to be like, "Oh, like you know what I'm saying?" Mandingo. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm expecting my shit to be like crazy. You know what I'm saying? And it and and it and it didn't really do nothing to Take me. So pre workout. Yeah. Right. <laughs> nah, the 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 uh the candy though is crazy. It's like a, it's like that candy that like makes the pop rocks. What type of candy did you get? <laughs> Cause she got candy that like makes her mouth like more so more saliva. Like. Oh nah, we got the pop rocks blowjob candy. I know what candy you're talking about. You put the blowjob candy. You yeah. ate it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah. 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 <laughs> He's like, mm, pop rocks. <laughs> have you guys ever rocks. did? Have you guys ever did any type of sexual enhancement supplement pill shit? Nah, no. nah. Just, I mean, we we know what you're talking about, but like, to be honest, people take that shit that have like dry mouth and stuff. You know, that's crazy. And yeah. I also realized I was like, you know what? With the stuff, I was like, I don't even like. I'm not even trying to like. I'm luckily, you know, what I'm saying, healthy enough to get my shit hard by itself. <laughs> So 
Where's this conversation? It's just like <laughs> I'm saying like I don't think I, 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 I think, that, shit I out, think the whole I think the whole sexual supplements thing is too is too hyped up. I, I didn't enjoy it. You but are yeah. not the walking meme no more. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> You've earned the spot. All right, getting into the next subject. Let me get to the next topic. All right, look. Uh, you guys are getting married in Hawaii. No, we already, we already so got married in Hawaii. So we what? eloped. Eloped. Okay, mm-hmm. what is eloping? It's pretty much like going through the court system. Before, yeah. like, everybody that gets married has to go through the courts, yeah. right? So we got married, technically eloped. No big wedding? No nothing? Not yet. That's coming. I That's got the coming. invite. So Did there? you? I yeah, didn't we get didn't invited. Invited. Did you guys Hopefully get the invite? I just met him today. We get invited, but I got the invitation letter in the chest. Okay, box. but okay, let me keep going. I don't care, bro. If I didn't get invited, <laughs> get, get, I right. actually knew him first. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, we'll get into you that. You should have threw that in there with the feature. We'll get, so, I, look, I'm paying for you to come to the wedding, too, <laughs> or for the intro song. But no, yeah, was there a specific reason why you guys eloped like. And got what? married early, and now you're having the wedding, or yeah. So our first wedding got canceled. <coughs> we had some like serious family shit we had to take care of. Uh-huh. Um, that got canceled first, and then so we're like two months later. It was really like two weeks we decided it, but two months <coughs> later we ended up getting eloped. Um, but like within a week of the family shit happening, whatever, we were like, fuck it. Let's let's just run away. Not tell nobody. Like we'll just come out after we get married, officially. Some Cinderella shit. Kind of, <laughs> kind of. And then we were like, you know, we were in LA at the time, so we were like Hawaii five hours. Like we didn't have our passports at the time or nothing. How'd you get in? You didn't have. Oh, you didn't go yeah. without passport. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need it. Yeah. Oh, it's in the United States. Hawaii is a state. That's oh right. no. That's right. So oh no. That's why we chose Hawaii though. And then we just we eloped there. We <clears throat> sat in front of a an official or what are they? Officiant. Officiant. Um, and we just went on some private island and and did it. That's we didn't it. say no vows though, like nothing like that. We're keeping all the tradition to the wedding. Mm. And Fire. the wedding is in July. It's July twentieth. Can I Come can I please. ask? Um, <laughs> I would do it to you. What is what? I don't want to be like any y'all problem. Y'all want to share the family <laughs> problems or no? Yeah. So I mean, you want me to? You want to? Do this? <laughs> oh shit. You want me to? Have you guys ever spoke on this? No. No. This is a, in in this is uh, an exclusive. Yeah. yeah. This is an exclusive. Do podcast. y'all want to talk about it? I mean, it's it's just hard because it's like. What do you want to say about it? Hold on, hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me see how this is feeling. I have a little bit right here. Let me see how this is Let me either can pour me up a little zone. Uh, you don't have none? <laughs> nah, I don't. I spilled my shit. <laughs> nah, I don't. Um, I'll definitely say that we feel differently about the situation. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like the situation hurt hurt me more than anything, and it kind of made him angry more than anything so and it made y'all run away to go get married type mm-hmm. shit yeah so that's pre- kind of extreme i ain't gonna lie to yeah. you yeah yeah i mean it was extreme like so pretty much you could breathe, <laughs> you could breathe. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much we had two family members that were really close to us mm-hmm. let's put it that way really close um go off with each other go what is go off like sleep together oh i was thinking fighting sleep no sleep like cheating shit and you say like family members on your side your side both sides oh yeah and it wasn't just fucked up to us it was fucked up to the other people in my family that was hurt as hold well. on so <clears throat> it was one person so from each of y'all families yeah but that one person you said cheating so that one person had a significant other type yeah what the fuck yeah so we it wasn't so just y'all hurt. got brought into this whole situation it wasn't just hurt to us i'm just trying to act dumb i know the story it was <laughs> it wasn't just hurt to us it was hurt to like i said other people that was really close to me and that's where and why i'm i'm mad about the situation mm-hmm. you know like 
I'm I'm angry about it. So you're mad about the situation. She's hurt about the situation. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be someone like obviously it's people close to you guys. So how how yeah? So you got you went and got eloped. What can you give us like more details as to like why you got eloped and then now are going through with the wedding well, now? They just said that's why they got eloped, and they just they canceled the wedding because of. All I'm gonna that be honest. The stuff. elopement was almost a fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. That's what it was to us. Yeah. Mm. But as well as, yo, the amount of shit we have ever gone through in our relationship with not not between it's ne that's the thing is never been between us. Mm -hmm. It's always other things that come in and try and fuck us they over. Come in and yeah. just stir the shit so, up. The elopement was definitely a this life is me and you. Yeah. Like that's what we it's like wanted. Us against we wanted the world. that moment exactly. That shit just gave me. That's why I ain't gonna be no swinger shit in thirty years. <laughs> I got okay. goosebumps. <laughs> got goosebumps. Damn. Damn. That, yeah, that is crazy. Yeah. I guess like I guess like even doing that, I could understand to see as to why you didn't want to do the wedding too because. You know, having what's it called elope, doing the elope. Yeah, <laughs> his families are a big part yeah. of weddings. Weddings, I mean, wedding shit. you didn't want to introduce the so whole family to the shit. So that's the thing is with our wedding, it's gonna be very like obvious with how we're going about our wedding. Mm. Yeah. So you're saying whatever yeah. happened is gonna be revealed because of what the wedding is gonna look like. Yeah. Yeah. People will and know. It's, and it's gonna be will... like that's why I keep. I think I even told you about it. Like. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to stand. Yeah. When I'm standing up there watching her walk yeah. down the aisle. Like I'm dead ass. You're gonna be mad or it's gonna No, be, it's gonna be like fucking like crying type. Yeah, like, like it's gonna be it's hard. A crazy moment. So let's I talk about I'm, I'm engaged, so like I'm legit. I'm like, okay. Yeah. She's got a good heart. So let's <laughs> talk about it. So speaking of the wedding, I know I actually just I I was with them at the the bonfire. They didn't even know like somebody had posted some drama. Or like you know the little drama channel trying to stir up some shit mm -hmm. basically you know we seen you did this TikTok where you had uh what's her name trisha, uh, trisha mm -hmm. in in your in your TikTok with you mm -hmm. and you do this TikTok and she's like yo you know who's gonna who's gonna be my what is it called like the bridal girl, party bridal party so the girls that are part of her in the wedding and it was just her and trisha which is one person. So you have one girl, mm -hmm. and that's all you want. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what's the reasoning behind that? Because, so you're, so is is there a specific reason, or is it just because you're so close with this girl, you only want her, or is it like the people that you were gonna have in did you wrong? Like what's? So like, oh, most of the time when people have a bridal party, it's like they have sisters or they have like childhood friends, mm -hmm. and I don't have any of that. Mm -hmm. so, so you have no sister yeah like i don't have a sister um and all of my childhood friends we just like, grew apart as we got older um so there's nobody over the years that i've genuinely stayed close with other than trisha and me and her have basically been friends for like three years now and um we did meet like through social media and just as the years have gone on um I've been really close with her and he's been really close with her boyfriend. So I kind of took it as what am I going to look back at my wedding and want? And all I want is for me to be true to who I am, what I want. I don't want to, I don't want people to standing up there that I feel like in five years, like, do I see myself being friends with them or not even that, but like, mm -hmm. You want it to be people that you know have been solid for a long time. Exactly. Not like, oh. It's really big. I mean, it's, even the people that you invite to sit down and eat a plate that you paid for, mm -hmm. you want that shit to last. No, <laughs> yeah. I know them plates I feel are like, expensive, bro. Yeah. Especially for girls. I feel like you guys definitely, when it comes down to weddings, I feel like the girls think a lot more deep into it. Oh, like, the girls, are, you guys, this is, the girls take, a, they take control. Yeah, yeah. this is, this is what every girl has dreamed of for their whole life yeah. you know what i'm saying coming up as a kid it's it's barbies and mm -hmm. wedding dresses and princesses yeah. and stuff so boom yeah so there's not one other person two other people you would put in your in there's, your there's other girls that i love and adore so much and that i'm so happy that they're gonna be there mm. but like my girlfriend up there is different <laughs> 
And I feel, I don't know, I feel like... She had other people. She had other people she was thinking of. Yeah, I did. I was planning on asking... We a, bought the maybe, flowers for it. Yeah, maybe <laughs> a couple other people. But when it came down to it, I just... Like, I just had a feeling. Like, when I have a feeling, I, I was like, feeling. I just know Facts. that this is, Ain't nothing like bad decision. against them, though, you know? No, yeah. Facts. Like, the people we're thinking of, like, we're... So, yeah. how many people do you have on your party? And did you think about doing, since she's only doing one, did you think about saying, fuck it, I'm only do one? No. So... No. <laughs> no. She said no. He said, I'm not sacrificing for nothing. <laughs> so... No, but I didn't want him to either. Yeah. I wanted him... I Like, we told each other... <laughs> Like, let's do, like, you do what makes you happy, yeah. I'm going to do what makes you happy. And I respected happy. that, you know, I told her, I was like, if you're putting one, I'm going to put whoever I want. That, you know, that's your choice. I, if she agreed to me putting up more than, you know, more than one and having it uneven, she said she was down with it. And that's, you know, what we decided on. Um, uh, like, I would have put one if she wanted me to, but... I have a lot of really close boys that I look at brothers that I wanted to put up there and she yeah. respected that. So if, I have, I have if seven. you did do one, do you know who would it have been? My brother. My, your brother? Yeah, okay. he's the best man. Little brother, big brother? Nah, big brother. <clears throat> big brother. Just make sure yeah. the camera Is he big? Right. Is he cut? Straight up. There's he's gonna be there. like he's six on this yeah. side, one on this side. Just make sure the camera angles are on this side. <laughs> um, we'll have them future. zoom in close. Babies. Babies. <laughs> plan on having well, kids? Do you guys plan on having kids? <laughs> we can ask something. I actually like. I had a question that kind of transitioned from that into. Fuck your transition. It's it's a <laughs> babies. Important question, but I'll get into it. We we'll talk about it. All right, yeah, babies. Fuck them kids. A lot of babies. Bro, shut up. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot you about that one. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want kids. I want a big family. I feel How like. How many? Four. Now nah, you guys actually have a crazy. Go get into it, cause y'all don't. They don't know the situation. So explain situation. about the kids and you. Uh, hey. What well, you just said. like I said, we've been through. I feel a like lot. a lot. Yeah. So. And having well, first I come from a very broken family, so I want the best like for my kids, and I want a lot of kids, um, but I. I go, I have a lot of like health issues. Mm -hmm. So for a long time, just like long story short, um, I was on birth control for like all of my teen years and it really like messed up my body. And um, I ended up years later when I was what, 20, 21? Yeah. 21 ish, maybe about to turn 22. Um, I found out that I had a pituitary tumor. So um, that kind of like... Which is in your brain. Well, no, it's outside of your brain. It's like right on the bottom of your brain, though. Yeah. You didn't know. So it's like... And it comes from the birth control? So a lot, like, we've kind of done research on it, and a lot of what I have comes from women who were on birth control. So um, it messed up all of my levels and, like, everything to do with women hormones like I didn't have at all like going up until recently like most recently I got my first and I know this it is like girl talk but March. I got my yeah because right? y'all posted the TikTok. I know yeah I see them um, every day <laughs> but I got my first natural period in seven years so like that was like a big thing because with my levels being so bad I literally basically haven't been ovulating for the past like seven years Mm. so that was like a really it's like a really scary thing for me because i know that kids is like a huge like a part of our future so when i got my period and everything it was so emotional because it just kind of showed us that okay i'm ovulating i'm like in that time of our life and it's definitely something exciting to look forward to But it was, like, really hard and, like, scary for a long time to think about what my body was going through and just, like, kids. It it was a sensitive subject for us because it was always me sitting here praying and hoping that we were going to, like, my body was going to. Be, like, fertile. Yeah. Um, Because, I yeah, I wasn't 
like and birth control birth. does mess that stuff up exactly yeah. like if you're yeah. on it for a long time it'll mess up like how fertile you are yeah so with the tumor is it like are you able to live with it being there for the rest of your life or is that something that you eventually have to take so action on when i found it it was at like five millimeters um and i ended up like checking on it a year later and it grew to about 14. so in a year that's like really big yeah. um that's like a really big jump so basically the steps that i took right after that was um i had to meet with a specialist and get on a medication um, cause what I have is called a prolactinoma. So it's non-cancerous and it basically can, what, how do I put it? Like I, it can be managed through medication, which I'm on right now. And it my can body's, also shrink through medication. Too. Yeah. Mm. So that's like what I'm hoping that's like, but my body has been responding really well to the medication. Like all of my levels are back to basically normal. Um, which is good because I was like my hormones were so bad that I was like equivalent to like a old lady basically so is that yeah. the reason why you don't drink alcohol well, yeah that's well one of the reasons now I I would say she's like for, really stiff on it now yeah like, she can't at all for like a year I was like I don't like drinking but I'll have like a few sips or like a shot every now and then but like now I'm like, especially with the medication and the side effects I have from it, um, Just trying to I'm keep like, they, they don't even want me like drinking at all. So can I ask you, like, obviously with the tumor being close to your brain, mm -hmm. have you experienced like any type of crazy side effects with like neurologically? Like, yeah. So like when, when the hey, I sound kind of smart. Neurologically. <laughs> that was Neurolog good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i um i did for a really long time and i didn't know what was going on and kind of when i found out that it had grown so much and i was seeing a specialist they were like okay well these are the symptoms that you're having like this is all related to this and um it's kind of like late like lady symptoms so i don't want to like go yeah, yeah, into it cool. but like um but ever since I've been on the medication, a lot of it has stopped. Like, obviously, I have side effects from the medication, which I think, sucks. But. I think some of the symptoms she could say that's not lady is like uh, lady like uh, is a uh, um, like the blurred vision. Yeah, right? the blurry vision. Um, like you see stars, mm -hmm. like you know the black dots you see when you yeah, get up too fast. Yeah, you get up too fast. I just had yeah. them shits just today. Had that today. He's yeah. like, oh wait, I'm seeing stars. I said, I'm still seeing them bitches. <laughs> God yeah. damn. She'll get, she'll get that randomly. Like I'm like, like still to this day, like I'm super, super, super sensitive to light. Um, so like, Sorry. like, no, yeah, no, it's my. We got all this light blaring on them right now. <laughs> but um, say like, turn them off. <laughs> <laughs> but um, and then. I would say uh, dizzy because the medication Dizziness, I get dizziness nauseous. really bad. But um, now with my like medication, you ever been so run down that it's like you you just feel like this on the couch, like you just limp kind of. Mm -hmm. I've been I've been I've been faded to where I feel like that. It like won't. exhausted, like, you're saying, like yes. just like like complete that's exhaustion. How medication kind of makes her feel. Yeah. Like. So and I how, would train my body to like. Well, now what I do is I used to take it in the mornings, but now I take it at night I so that say, I can sleep. And then half of like the medication is like already worn, worn like, off, kind of worn off by the morning. Have you talked to like your doctor about like your guys' future with kids and stuff? Does it affect anything with? You're saying like DNA wise, like no. I'm saying trans... like, does it affect with like trying to have kids or? So, oh, yeah, so technically whole... now she requested. Yeah, she like basically wanted it. She suggested for me to freeze my eggs just in case. Um, I haven't um, yet, but she was like, you know, anything ha can happen. Even nowadays, like you hear so many women being just in infertile for no reason at all, mm -hmm. um, no health issues. Like it just happens to some women. And so that's something that I've definitely considered doing because like, nah, I feel like so that's a real good idea. Like, yeah. you know, it, there's 
realistically, there's nothing wrong with doing that because you, you know, God forbid, you don't know what the fuck is going to happen. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So as long as you do that, you can, you know, you're, I wouldn't say guaranteed, but mm-hmm. the, the chances are a lot higher than if, you know, than if, if something does happen. Yeah. Type shit, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. And that's crazy. Has, so has that. Do you feel like, obviously, like, we give all condolences, like, you guys, you're strong for being able to go through that. Yeah, so thank you. You're doing it. Um, has it caused any, like, do you, could you say that that is, like, motivation? Does that give you some sort of motivation to, like, go hard with everything you guys got going on? Or, because I know, like, like our, our mom, she actually, like, I don't even think anybody, we've never even, like, put that out there, but she has a uh, form of cancer. It's lupus. Lupus, okay. and, but she also has something else, too. She like, has other stuff, but the big part is lupus. Like, she, she's, like, going through, like, chemo treatment right now. Mm-hmm. So a doctor comes, like, every two weeks to the house and does, like, chemo treatment on her and stuff. And, yeah. But, yeah. So... I know with my mom, she's very like, you know, kind of is, is, she's uh, easily um, sati- satisfied, if that makes sense. Like she finds joy in a lot more, like Just the little, little things. things. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, yeah. So, so do you feel like in a way it's kind of been a blessing to get you to like um, appreciate the little things in life? For or? sure, yeah. Especially when we like travel or like we're out and about doing things, especially together, I feel like like that's when I'm like the most happy. Yeah. And because, you know, you don't you don't realize certain things until like for me I always say you never prioritize your health until it's at risk. Facts. And like I I just look at so many people who like don't take care of themselves or like Mm -hmm. don't like do certain things or whatever um and i'm just like just like taking it it. it it, would you say it was like a life changing it was really like life changing for it was i wouldn't say like something a blessing in disguise because i I don't want to say blessing in disguise because it did help you realize a lot more though yeah i the way that I look at everything that I'm going through is that everything I'm glad at least that I can go through it. So I know everything for my future kids Mm -hmm. so that I can go into like their life and being like, okay, I'm not way more knowledgeable about health and Mm. everything that in that aspect so that I can make sure like my kids are healthy. And so like as much as I try and keep up with myself as much as I can. So um and also like i'm so sorry about your mom i just wanted to say that before like we continued but like i'll i'll be praying for her she's gonna watch it and she's probably gonna dm you or something (laughs) has that changed anything like with you finding out about montana's condition like has that changed any like how you go about life now are you more gentle with her since that do you feel like um that's actually a good question like unintentionally are you more gentle with her because of her condition or do you feel like I'm more I was more gentle with her than from the get go, you know? Yeah. Um I she's I look at her as like my kryptonite, you know what I'm saying? Like she like calms me down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh just from the get go. She got a big ass smile on her face. <laughs> <laughs> from 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 the beginning of our relationship. Um this was definitely something to just take in as a life aspect of you know life you know i don't want to talk about the extreme but life short yeah you know Fresh. and i want to live it with my person you know what i'm saying yeah so it's like i want to try and get her out i want to take her on dates i want to spoil her you know what i'm saying yeah so yeah it kind of made me more like giving kind of yeah i guess you could say right yeah That's <laughs> she got it. That's a beautiful no, that no, no, to, like, to the notebook just to like think I have a partner that has my back with everything yeah. and I feel like that probably calms you also yeah. and because I know it can come with like a lot of anxiety just yeah. finding out something like that it is yeah that was hard something yeah. scary that and was probably when that time era came like and it's still going but that that time of finding out was probably our lowest we've ever been yeah. 
there was so much other stuff involved like and you found out when so i found out october not like a specific o- day october but. it was october it was october 2021 no no, no. so this was still pretty recent no october 2021 i found so out. she found out october 2021 that it was five millimeters we found out october 2022 a year later exact that it was 15 millimeters. Did it hit you worse when it was at five or at 14? 14. Yeah. Yeah, because I was like, it was like, so basically the position I'm in right now, and I think the reason why I, it would like hit me so hard is because I was like, what, what, what would I, what could I have done when I found out at five mil- millimeters? Like if I would have just went to mm. like the specialist I was supposed to. Like the what if. And like, like, they could have prescribed me the medication I'm on right now and then it could be nothing. Yeah. So that's kind of what I regretted in that moment, but it was more so of, okay, what can I do now to make it not get to surgery? Fair. Cause that's is like it, what I'm in right now is that since that 14 I'm on medication, it could, it could shrink it. Um, it's making my, my hormone levels, back to what they're supposed to be so hopefully that means that it's shrinking so you'll but go back in october for another check-in. so i actually am due a in april or may so like is it soon, soon is it yeah. scary now since finding out because when you went into a doctor it was probably like you were just probably just going to get a random check right? i had a feeling i had a feeling going into that appointment but but 14 was like but how old are y'all now I'm, I'm 23. I'm saying from 24. the first from the first appointment, from finding oh, out. When I first found out, I had no idea. I was in there for a completely different reason. She had like a panic attack at like two in the morning. Yeah, and so I was I, like. She like didn't feel good though. She felt like she was gonna pass out. Like this is when we first found out that she even had it. Yeah. I drove, rushed her up to the hospital, um, to the ER. They, they did, did cat scan. They did the cat scan. They found a little. They said they said my pituitary what? gland was rounded yeah so bro that's crazy because i had a a similar moment to that i woke up out of my sleep 2 a.m 3 a.m and i felt like i was having a panic attack attack i I drove myself driving myself i swear to god it's funny but it's not funny but like i had like one hand on the steering wheel one hand on my heart and like i was like holding my heart at the same like damn bro i gotta get to the hospital i know and then like i got there and then they did the cat scan and everything i was just that's that's scary that's right the there. The scary part, the scary part is like this. I'm like such an overthinker. He's a. I was telling you yes. about it. He's a. What is it called? You're talking I, shit about me. Yes, I'm not. Hundred so percent. Like I'm sick. I always overthink 100%. stuff. But what scares me is like, it could be, God forbid, but like it could be legit. Anybody in this room, in this apartment, that's like. You don't know what the fuck is going on in your body Mm -hmm. and you won't even feel it. And if you didn't, if you didn't have that panic attack, you could have been living your entire life like this Mm -hmm. without knowing that you had a tumor on the outside of your brain or right under it. And that's what scares me about like just the people that I'm around and stuff like they're like, if they haven't helped, if they have a health condition, they aren't going to their doctor checkups or stuff like that. Some people don't take that stuff serious. Yeah. yeah. Even at just as little as going to the dentist every six months. That shit's serious because there's little things about your body that only a doctor can find out or only a machine can find out. Mm-hmm. The outside, it looks perfect. Yep. But from the inside, you could have something going on that. That's what scares me. So yeah. Basically, what he's saying is, for all the viewers out there, man, just go get your monthly checkup, man. Go, yeah. go, get, go get a yearly yeah. checkup. Just go, go, go. Go do something. I literally always you never say know. that. I'm like, if there's an appointment that you have a pushing off, like book it because you, even if there's nothing wrong, like you'd rather just have the peace of mind to know. And like, just like me, just get it done. Like, I do feel it like early. I've do learned a lot about early. them. That's what's crazy. This is probably one of my favorite podcasts. And me that's too. Like me me as well. Me mm-hmm. like just saying that, like transparency. This is probably one of my favorite podcasts because we haven't had like a. I, I told you guys, you guys were gonna like him. <laughs> they came oh. in. He said, "I might have to fight Ryan." Oh, I'm dead. Nah. Both of but them what's said crazy that. though? Who said that? Is, uh. Nah, <laughs> nobody said that. What's crazy though is he came in here telling me that I made them an intro song. Yeah, man. 
Should I play it? You should. Yeah, no. Nah, gotta... I'll have Nick pull it up. I'll have okay, Nick okay. pull it up, but you can honestly play it right now. I made, this is four years ago. This was- Overlay it. Yeah. But this was four years ago and they had, I remember exactly the situation. She had emailed me. He had DM me. No, you didn't remember the situation because he said it. You didn't even remember. <laughs> no, but now that I now no. Now that I no because when he came, it. bro, when he came <laughs> in and told me about it, I went back to our messages. I went to his Instagram. I went back to our messages. I'm like, oh shit. And this was this was before like I had anything or I, this was when I was like le legit just music. I had just did Julius and Destiny's intro, and then. Hey, don't I dropped, forget about foreign. That was the first. No, yeah, one. but I dropped private. So Cook's intro. He actually slid up. He actually slid up, and I just found you this out right now. Home. But he actually slid up on a story that I posted of Julius and Destiny's of the private or of the private island song, and he slid up and was like, "Where's our intro song at?" <laughs> and I think they had paid. Oh, I think they had paid like, yeah. and they were just waiting on it. It probably took me like a month to get it done, but. I did get it done. That would have so, been yeah, crazy if you I really paid. Wanna know. I really want to hear it. It was, it, was, it was really short, but... Yeah, let's hear it. Intro. Did you... I'll remember it. You ready? Yeah. Turn it all the way up. This is no one's grave, baby. I see no one's grave, baby. <laughs> Ryan's toes tapping right now. <laughs> that's so funny because I remember the exact studio where I was at. Like that's that's crazy. I feel like that's I have crazy. a weird memory of you being like, "Tell me what you think about this intro song." No, I just you've made heard this. that song multiple times. YouTube couple. But long story short, I'm gonna make them a new intro song. Yeah, <laughs> for free. For free. For free. Intro, huh? We want a new one from Miami, though. Yeah. Free. No, I got you. He said free. I got you. I got <laughs> you. Not for real. Just off this episode. Just off this episode. <laughs> but anyways, we want to say thank you guys so much for coming. We had an amazing podcast. Most definitely. Now we're uh, about to go wait, enjoy wait, dinner. Wait, wait, before we even get off, I have a question. Who wears the pants in the relationship? <laughs> <laughs> Ah. I do. I do. I do. You I do. do. I he do. looked down when he, he said, said I do, "No, I do. no." I, I I can give it to him because uh. he's a very much of a decision maker. But it's and this isn't even in a bad way. But he just really likes his way. Like yeah. he he really like and no, most of the time I like actually. I'm I I'm that's a, a I'm more thing. of like a I'm go with the way. flow too. So it's not even that I'm like bothered by it. I mean sometimes like when I gotta step up and I gotta be like no, then. Then we talk about it. Yeah, but with us, like, it's like she's laid. She's kind of laid back. I'm more like in the scene. Like, one I'm, thing, one thing that I top. noticed about Ryan and Montana kicking it with them for the past it's a month and a half now. Oh, that's what we. Should, I have a question after. My All right, bad. okay. So the one thing that I've noticed about them, and you guys will probably notice now that I said it, maybe at dinner or something. But when she talks, he is very like, like he's like. I'm gonna let like he's. That's what he's been doing this entire episode. He'll I mean, let her talk, and he's too. he's gonna be very like patient and understanding. Hey, yo, the comments, the, the comments on this are gonna be crazy on that one. <laughs> hey, we're we're giving him a good look. Because people people don't think that. At all. Yeah, but behind the this scenes, behind all the this content, is <laughs> he is a super like. I'm I get into it to where like when me and Sally's talking, and she says something. I'm like, hey, what what are you talking about? If she says something that you could tell, he's just like, ah, he'll still he'd be like. <laughs> like he's listening so he's a, he's a good man he's a good man but well, what was your question um what were y'all's like you and Sally's first impression of ryan and i uh, ryan and you guys yeah like or the ryan first, and you what, what was the first i'll tell you i'll tell you because he told us oh oh okay <laughs> we're demons over here <laughs> no. nice no, so when he told me don't try to say it. You want me to say it? Say whatever. I didn't nah, say nothing nah, crazy. I was just trying to start. Yeah, I didn't say that. Nah, I think my our impression of you guys, because you guys came into the crib to start. Yeah, yeah. Well, I seen Montana in the hallway, and I was like, oh, it's, I it see was it. so awkward. I'm like, yeah. oh, Ryan, yeah, we just, we moved in. <laughs> but uh, I think my, my, my first impression of you guys was that you guys were very, uh, like, I love good vibes. Like, I, I don't like, like, 
you know what I'm saying? I used to be around like the rah-rah scene and like very like, you know what I'm saying, a lot going on. So now that I'm trying to switch up my circle, I think you guys are like that exact definition of people that I would surround myself around now. You guys are super patient, you know what I'm saying? Super like go with the flow, like you're down for whatever, whenever. Uh, but definitely when I first met you guys, you guys were very cool. Um, and it just flowed like naturally. What like, about before yeah. you met them? Before I met them, I'm not even gonna lie. I thought exactly what I feel like everybody thinks of you yeah. off social media. But after meeting you and understanding, like <laughs> you do that shit on purpose. Like I don't give a fuck what anybody says. He's eating it up. So y'all think he's <laughs> getting him? Like he's doing it for you to come. People don't realize I feel like how genuine of a person Ryan is. Like yeah. when you meet him. Super. People they also people online things. don't realize how actually goofy I am. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like they don't understand his personality. Yeah, he's goofy. So. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I think all good people, all good vibes. So yes, like sir. I said, we appreciate you guys. One more thing though, I, I'm always the one more. Just one keep more, trying more. to get this. <laughs> now nah, we gotta. We, we ask everybody this though. We, you know, if there's oh. one thing, if there's one thing you would tell the viewers, you know, um, yeah. what would be one tip that you can give them for social media, for for life, for anything? First, I want to say if the Merck family is watching, we love you guys. <laughs> so thanks for watching this. But, but I would say. I would say just, I it's so cliche, because I'm trying to remember like when we first started. All I could say is like just do it, like yeah. literally just start because even even if you don't know what you're doing, like we had no idea what we were doing. We just sat in front of a camera or like, like even when we first started TikTok, we just did some goofy TikTok dances, yeah. and it's just about starting it because yeah, you Take think that people are you are going to overthink everything that you do but like nice. people aren't going to think twice about it like people are going to yeah. watch your stuff and then and if they do on. it's going to turn in, you're going to turn into a meme and it's going to help you you're going to be right <laughs> take, take chances yeah. yeah we were working our regular job business that we owned mm -hmm. and she brought social media to me and she said let's do it so we did it you yeah. know and we were working 19 hour days yeah Sheesh. you know yeah so we were sleeping five hours a day five hours a night and we put in the work yeah yeah you know like we were working yeah gym our business youtube TikTok, whatever whatever it was yeah. you know and with anything it doesn't even have to be social media anything yeah. like Just have right your right. hobbies and and attack them take chances go yeah. at it facts i love work. it well, thank you guys. Uh, On that note, for thank coming. you guys. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, we for appreciate y'all having us. You guys man. probably get this, this is our podcast. podcast. It's our so. podcast. You guys are about yeah. to get hit up by a bunch of other podcasts. Yeah, they learned. <laughs> I know a lot of people learned a lot about y'all. I did. I know they did. I would but. love to have you guys on as a part two. If there's any questions that the subscribers would like us to ask you guys or topics we want to talk about, because there's so much more that I wanted to ask you guys that we didn't get to get into. Yeah, we had so much on our list, bro. They but we stay got here. dinner. So they can't we all got me. dinner. I just knock on their door and then it's over. Like, <laughs> podcast, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah. Let's get it. Appreciate it. Yeah, let's get it. Thank you guys. Yo, mama.